from New York 9. So, talking about how RSV, how RSV can transform the cells leads us beautifully into RSV, RSV oncogene. We're going to talk about that. Oh, I haven't been drawing pictures. There are a few genes, or there's specifically, yeah, there's some, here's some stuff about the RSV oncogene. First, there's this thing called SARC, stands for sarcoma. This gene is the oncogene. So you know how retroviruses, they have the gag and the colony envelope being frames, and you can have an optional oncogene being frame for RSV specifically. It has an optional oncogene, it's called the sarcoma oncogene. Specifically, it's called ESAR. Specifically, ESAR. V-SARC and viral sarcoma oncogene. Now, scientists. Scientists study TS and DLN mutants to identify the gene. I don't remember clearly, but I believe the TS and DLN mutants were mutants that had a non-functioning B-SARC and they noticed infecting um, these RSV mutants, infecting chickens. But these TS and DLN RSV mutants did not lead to cancer. That was my intuition saying. We also, the scientists also identified Gene, the virus, the oncogene, biochemically. So Dr. Sears likes to talk about scientists studying it genetically and biochemically. So this is the biochemical part. The scientist knows that there's this protein called P6, P60. So this P60 protein was a 526 amino acid product of VSARC. And what P60 does is it catalyzes the phosphorylation. I'm going to draw that as a in a circle, kind of like this phosphorylation of tyrosine. And this now P60 also. Specifically, catalyzes phosphorylation of tyrosine four hundred sixty. So this amino acid is a five hundred twenty six amino acid. It's big. Uh, it's 416th amino acids tyrosine 
and they see this protein cat phosphorylates itself. And by doing that, the auto phosphorylation, phosphorylation of P60 messes up. So here's the thing. Okay, good. Here's the thing. C Stark is controlled cellular homolog. So you remember at the beginning the retroviridae videos. I said that retroviridae causes tumors. And one of the ways you know, when viruses cause tumors, they can either use a cellular homolog to cause tumors. Sometimes uh, what they can also do, um, like there's some avian retrovirus, what it can do is insert itself, its own genome, next to a, um, next to a growth uh, an of the gene on the cell and mess that up. Other times, it just simply destroys the cellular control genes, or the growth control genes, and then you get tumors. In this specific case, uh, VSARC, it is a viral homolog of a cellular oncogene. So normally, our cells, or in this case, chicken cells, there's this gene called CSARC, and CSARC tells the cell to grow. But usually, this CSARC is turned off because you don't want your cells to always be growing. What VSARC does is that it makes this P60 protein. And this P60 protein phosphorylates itself. And when it phosphorylates itself, it basically increases um, cell growth. And because it's a cellular, it's, since it's a viral homolog, it's almost like the cell can't tell the difference between gene product of C-Stark and V-Stark. So then the, the cell gets tricked into causing growing by and get a tumor. That coupled, see, this is coupled with the virus genome being integrated into the cell, into the cell's genome. So it's, it's ingenious, really. The virus puts, sneaks its way in um, into the cell's genome, and then it tells the cell to start growing the body, make all these proteins, make all these, all this gene, make all this uh, genome, and then guess what? It gets to proliferate. So it's, it's in genes out. Also, kind of fucked up, but you know, for the virus, it's good. It's all good. For us, not so much. So, positive and copy that down. You need so. Try right near you guys. Draw near. So that's what VSARC does. Let's draw a picture that shows the components of VSARC. So put this in red. Components of VSARC. We're still underneath Roman numeral 9. It's just one of those red star bullet points. So I'm going to draw it. Let me just create it. Here's just, here's the membrane. Membrane of cell. And here's the genome. Or here's the VSARC gene. Here's the VSARC gene. This is the 
be side chain. SH stands, take this one. So read this as SARC homology 4 or SARC homology, homology 1. So SARC homology 1, SARC homology 2, SARC homology 3, SARC homology 4. Each of these components of these SARC will fit. So SARC homology 4. Anchors start protein to cell membrane. Start homology three. So you have cell membrane right here, right? This is what starts going to do. Start homology 3 by proline rich sequences. I don't know what the purpose of that is, to be honest. Start homology 2 phosphorates, P little circle, phosphorates, tyrosine. Stitch 1. Start homology 1 is kinase. <clears throat> so I never really understood this concept until this class, it's kind of embarrassing, but kinase I usually just think cell signal. So sarcomology 1 does something to cell signal. And like we said before, if it messes up the cell signaling, it tells the cells to start dying, and so forth. And this whole thing honestly I think it's from teaching us how to finally understand this. This is called linker adapt. And I can, I forgot to ask Dr. Sears about this, but I can only guess now, teaching it to you guys, that's called a linker adapter function because these four components are linked together. Um, it also sticks here, so it links itself to the cell membrane. And it sort of quote unquote adapts to its environment, it adapts to its environment by fostering itself using a kinase, binds proline rich sequences. It adapts to, it adapts, its, the gene adapts itself to, to mess up the cell uh, growth cycle. If you want to, you can search this up on your own. I didn't see this in the textbook. I didn't see that term in the textbook, but it was there in the lecture, so I'm putting it there. So, again, what does we, I drew this whole picture to show the components of these VSARC. What does VSARC do? It's, or what is it? It's a viral homolog of CSARC. It basically tells the cell to grow. And when the cell grows, it replicates its own DNA and the virus's DNA, DNA or genome, and then also makes um, viral protein. And viral, viral genome and viral, viral proteins equals more viruses.